looking back. <laughs> this is just something I just pulled out right now. Just thinking of family here. I'm really glad that family's really here. I wish I could say the same. It just hurts. It hurts to miss. It hurts to be loved. And be far from whatever you can call home. Either you call it home because your loved ones or breakfast made at 7 a.m. You love it because no matter how displeased you can get with her, she always took you to school. And we are found in the car, twisting our soul itself so much we feel like turning the stuck chair. We become wild, anxious, get so mad we feel like throwing the house away the window. Impatient. Oh, just seeking to learn an unknown language, hopeful of releasing the shadowy monster that apprehends on our back. Yet, it doesn't matter how frenetic you feel. She complains about something like not being your driver. <laughs> Quite fancy, unpredictable soul. And you realize that chair, that stuck chair is life. You for no chance can be in the back of this ride. She will always be there even if she's gone, even if you haven't seen her in anchor seasons. If you ever ask her, who do you love? It would take centuries for her to mention her own name. Unbreakable memories. That one car ride when she learned that song you like. Just to sing along with you that, and I will always love you in part. And while holding hands when she went from third gear to fourth without letting go, they say you sleep too much, not realizing that being in coma for two minutes would be better than this atmosphere. A curse you will never pass by. It will smash you first before you can attempt to try. It's being haunted and enchanted. Stop the rain whenever her name is it one writes in my window. I could say that any place is home if it's you who opens the door. But God, I love falling. I'm thankful for every time I collapse in pain. For insomnia nights, every day I woke, realizing it was our last day and that I would be gone as I was never there. I love dropping for those tight, imprisoning hugs and looks. Let's not project a stream of don't leave. Because if you wouldn't have ever been vulnerable, you wouldn't have ever loved. Thank you.